Every health innovator that I know is asking the same questions. I keep hearing it over and over every conversation that I have every day of the week, the, at least for the last three or four weeks. And everybody's trying to figure out how in the world do I survive, recover and thrive in this new COVID economy. So I decided to put this video together because I wanna share some tips with you that I've been sharing with my clients. So really, no matter where you are in the innovation process, where you are, whether you're a startup and you are just getting started, you were, you know, you had some meetings scheduled, you were pitching your company to investors and you were expecting to raise some additional funds and you may need to pivot and look at what you need to do next or whether you were a really mature company and you've got some revenue that's still coming in, but you're still trying to figure out how you need to adapt. Really, the common thread that I'm seeing is that no matter where you are in the process, I believe you need to pivot you need to pivot something. Now you may not need to pivot your entire business model, I'm not saying that, but you're gonna need to pivot something. At minimum, you are very likely working from home, working remotely, and you need to at least pivot your sales strategy. You need to pivot your operations. So I wanna tell you five things that you can do. This is where you wanna start. You wanna start by pausing and listening. So this is the first thing you want to do. Pause, listen, and evaluate. And ask yourself, how is COVID-19 impacting your business? Just listen, right? Just listen to see what clues you pick up. The second thing that I want to share with you that I also give to my clients is that I want you to take an honest inventory of what your financial situation is. So the next step is that you need to get real about the stabilizing and the security of your company. And you need to be honest with yourself. Do you have enough runway to last through COVID? If you don't raise any more money, if you don't have any cash flow coming in from sales, can you sustain yourself? Now, I can't answer that question for you. Only you know what's going to be the rest best choice for you. But I can tell you that many, many of us are finding ourselves at the crossroad where we need to take an honest look and say, okay, do I still have a sustainable business? Is my business relevant based upon changing market conditions? And do I have what it takes to survive? And you may have to say the hard truth that I don't and it's gonna be better for me to close my doors and pick up and start a new company or start a new business or start back again in six months, maybe when all this is behind us. The third thing that I wanna share with you is that the next step is to sit down and to examine your pre-COVID market strategy. Hopefully you already had this documented someplace. And so I want you to dust that off if you haven't been looking at it on a regular basis and sit down with it and go, okay, take inventory. This is where I was going before COVID. This is the customer segment that I was planning on pursuing. This is the value proposition that I was delivering, right? You see where I'm going with this. This is my business model. You want to take inventory of your current or your pre-COVID market strategy. Then you want to sit down with your team and you want to go, hmm, where could we pivot, okay? We've already decided, number two, that we have a viable company, right? If we're moving to number three. Now, if we want to recover and thrive during this economy, what do we do need to do next? What are some gaps between our pre-COVID market strategy and the new market landscape, the new market conditions, and what are some things that we can do? Number four, you want to sit down, have an honest evaluation of those two or three pivot paths that you just came up with. And you want to say which one is going to be your most viable and your most profitable pivot path that you could take, right? Because there's gonna be many choices for you. And not again, not everybody's gonna to have to pivot everything, you might just have one pivot and that pivot may be a game changer for you. And it may be, again, it may be something like your sales strategy. It may not be something as profound and uh, disruptive as changing your business model. Well, let me just say as a sidebar, I am not suggesting that you go chase the COVID, right? Like what I mean by that is I'm not suggesting that you go and go, hey, I got a solution for a new business. 
it looks like people are experiencing this problem and let me go out and start a new company around that. Mm, wrong. That is definitely not going to be a profitable or successful pivot strategy for you. If you weren't in that business before, my recommendation is don't get into that business. So as you're looking at the different pivot strategies that or the pivot paths that you could take, make sure that you're looking at that with your lens of knowing who you were before COVID happened to make sure that you're staying true to the DNA who you are and to your mission and your purpose behind your company when you first started. You don't want to veer completely away from that. And then the fifth thing that you want to do is you want to sit down and you want to create an action plan, right? This is going to seem really simple, but it's going to be very powerful to you. So as health innovators, as entrepreneurs, we are usually wearing so many different hats and we need to be able to just focus, right? We need to be be able to focus on what is it that we need to do and so we can put all the rest of the stuff to the side for a time being so you want to sit down and you want to write down what do I need to start doing what do I need to stop doing and what do I need to continue doing so you're gonna have three columns start stop continue and those are the five things. So remember we said pause listen and evaluate how COVID, COVID is impacting your business then we said that you're going to get real about securing and stabilizing the finances of your company. Do you have a business to go get through COVID or do you need to close the doors? Three, you're going to take inventory of your pre-COVID market strategy. Four, you're gonna sit down and identify what are two to three different pivot paths you could take. And then five, you're gonna create your action plan. What do I need to stop? What do I need to start? What do I need to continue? Now, listen, if you think that this is beneficial, if you're saying, you know what, I am in that same boat, you're right, that's exactly where I am, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to pivot and how I'm going to pivot, well, you're in luck. If you click the button right below, you will find that you can download a free COVID pivot strategy builder. I'm giving this away for free because I want to help you. I know that we are all facing a lot of challenges right now, and we need some tools, some proven tools that we can put in place um, to um, to help work through this, to make sure that we survive, that we recover, and we thrive in the new COVID economy. So download this right now, it's there for you.